Hey guys, welcome back. Now, I've cut the wood. I've been trimming it, cutting it, scraping it, and gouging it, and pretty much come with a basic design like this. Now, this is not the same piece of wood I showed you. This That was just for demonstration. This is a different piece. And you notice that I've cut deep into it. I was able to bore out the top using those wood boring bits. And then I would just shape it and shape it and shape it and then just try to groove it so you have some rough edging and it makes it look like a log or an old piece of wood that just broke off. The bottom is pretty flat just because that way it doesn't fall over. And then the holes, as I said, the wood borer bent went through and it went through and then came over and I used another bit on this side and it came through and made a nice straight through hole for this side. So I didn't go all the way through the back because now it's got air. And I can actually fit two plants in either side of this. Then I got another one on this side. You also notice that I did it on an angle too. You want to hold this in a vise in a vise or in a clamp. And what you want to do is just drill your bits on an angle, not straight down, because then you'll have you, your air plant won't sit in there on an angle like this. So that way, when you set them in there, they'll stay. Now I'll try using a pencil, but I doubt it'll stay. But, you know what, you get the idea, because once your air plant's in there, it's just going to stand up like this, and they're going to stand up like this. And then you're going to have one in the top, which I intended this one for. I try to make a maximum amount of space, because it looks cooler when it's covered, even with Spanish moss. Now, when I get really, when I'm done with this, I'm going to have to sand it down, and what I'm going to sand it with is a, first I'm going to start with a, steel or a wire brush like this just to get the initial burrs off and the little leftover pieces of wood that are still hanging on then I'm gonna go over it with this which will take care of any remaining little half shaven pieces of woods hanging off or whatever and it'll add detail and burn marks to the wood and give it some distressed look start looking like driftwood and then I'll go into detail how I actually do the final touch-up on this on this piece of uh, driftwood. All right. 